Hello, so in this video we will talk about uh, the transitive closure of a relation. So for the sake of this video we have uh, R, a relation on a finite set A and the cardinality of A is N. So as a recap, this means what? This means that R is a subset of the Cartesian product of A and A. Okay. So what is an informal we will talk about an informal definition and a formal definition so an informal definition is that smallest addition to a relation r that would make it transitive is the transitive closure so for example if we have this is my r now if i can add this this part to this and this overall thing becomes maybe let's say r star then if this is the smallest addition possible to make a transitive set then r star is the transitive closure of r okay so this is the very informal definition and i would i would encourage uh, that this is the way to remember what transitive closure is okay but let's say uh, for the sake of you know completion and for the sake of uh, being precise we need to have a formal definition as well so the, the formal definition goes like this if a transitive closure for a relation R is a relation S such that these three conditions are satisfied so first condition is that R is a subset of S the second condition is that S is transitive and the third condition is that every transitive set that contains R must contains must contain s okay so then this is my for example this is guy is my s so if I, I have another transitive any other transitive set which has r, r should have s as well okay so a contradiction of this can be if this is my r again and i say that this is the addition i have made and there is another uh, let's say this guy it's a very bad drawing but so this guy contains R but it does not contain S so in this case my first drawing was not a transitive closure because I have found an addition which is smaller to the initial drawing initial addition and the new both of them were transitive okay so this actually corresponds to this smallest part okay so in order to prove what is a transitive closure so for example if we have an R now this is just a definition of a transitive closure but what is actually a transitive closure of R okay can we define it through some transformations of R that's the question okay for this one we need to build some understanding uh, of paths in a diagram okay so remember when we talked about the diagraph representation of a of a relation we said that if we have a b this ordered pair and maybe c d this ordered pair so this means that we have a b and c d so this is this is a to b and this is c to d this is a c b d okay so this is what it means whenever we have an ordered pair we in a, in a diagraph representation we have from source to destination and edge a directed edge okay so the theorem says a path from A to B exists in the diagraph of R if and only if A B is in R to the N. Okay. So this is the theorem which we will need to get to actually the transitive closure of R. Okay. So let's quickly go through the proof of this. Okay. So in this proof, we use mathematical induction. Okay. So base step base step is n is equal to 1 what does it mean a to b exists in the diagraph of r if and only if a b is in r okay which is true due to definition of diagraph okay now inductive step okay. now we say that let uh, statement is true for 
for n is equal to k. What does it mean? It means that a path of from a to b exists in the diagram of R if and only if a b is in R to the k. Okay. Okay. Actually, this should be exists of length n. Okay. So the base step still does not change because if base step n is equal to one, so we need just a path like this. Okay. So now let's let's assume that the statement is let the statement be true for n is equal to k this means that a path from a to b exists of length k in the diagraph of r if and only if a b is in r to the k okay now we have to prove it for k plus one so how do we do it so we say let k to b is in r and b to c in R to the K. What does it mean? That there's a path from A to B in R and path from B to C in RK. Now the, since the statement is true, then this means that path of length 1 in R and path of length K in R. So we here we say B to C length K in R. Okay, now what we can do in diagraph is we can connect A to B and then B to C. So then construct a path from A to B to C. What will be the length of this? Length will be k plus 1 and now a to b belongs to r and b to c belongs to belongs to r to the k so and there is a path from a to c in k plus 1 so this means by definition of so this means that a c belongs to r composition with r k or r k plus 1 so when we set the construction of path when we use the constructions of path then we end up that there was a path of length k plus 1 from a to c when we use the definition of composition we said that a and a c belongs to r k plus 1 so then this means that we have proved the theorem for k plus 1 here. okay okay so now let's go to the transitive closure so the transitive closure of r is given by r star is union i is equal to 1 to infinity r i okay remember r i is r composition with r i minus 1 okay and r 1 is just equal to r so this is just a reminder here okay now let's go to the proof now what are the three conditions we have to check the first condition was that r is the r should be the subset of r star this is obvious this is true since r star is has r in it so r star is r union r squared union and so on so r star has r in it. Okay. second condition is what second condition is that r star should be transitive okay so is r star transitive so let's see let's see so we say let a b belongs to r star and a c belongs to r star right so this means that path from a to B exists in R. This means path from A to C in R. Okay, so then we, we can do the same thing. We can say construct A to B to C. So this means 
a uh, so sorry this should be b to c so then we can say a to b to c and so this means a to c exists now since, since a to c exists so this means a c belongs to r let's say m so depends on the length of the path from a to c if the length of length from a to c is m then a to c a c belongs to r to the m okay so since this belongs to one of them so this means that a c belongs to the union of all all of them correct so this means a c belongs to this so this means that this is transitive now let's talk about the third part we say that let s is a superset of r and s is transitive okay if s is transitive then this means what remember we earlier we proved that s this means that s to the n is a subset of x okay which means what which means that s star which is equal to i is equal to 1 to infinity s i this should also be a subset of s because all of them are subsets of s so their union should also be a subset of s correct so now since r is a subset of s can we say that r star is also a subset of r s star can we say that or not i think we can say that why when we say r is a subset of s it means that every path in r is present in s okay so uh, so paths of s contain all paths all paths of r so then this means that s star should also be a superset of r star correct okay so then let's say we have r star is a subset of s star is a subset of s so this is what we want to prove if s is transitive and s has r then s should have r star as well correct so then this means that r star is the transitive closure of r now a small a small question comes that are we supposed to check to r to the infinity the answer is no we only need to check need to need to check only till i is equal to n where n is the cardinality of the set on which we are taking the relation r okay so this actually this can be proved this can be proved using the uh, pigeonhole principle if uh, and very easily can be proved okay okay so this is it about the transitive closure and then uh, there are many algorithms especially the Warshall algorithm which is used to actually calculate the transitive closure now this is just the definition this is just the definition that the transitive closure of r is the union of all its powers uh, up to n and where n is the where n is the cardinality of the set where we started from okay so this is it about the transitive closure hope it was easy to understand and thanks for watching hope you like the video